Hey, what's up guys? Kent here with Quarsby Gaming, playing Raid Shadow Legends again today. Got another shard opening video for you. So last week I did a void shard opening going for Warlord. So here's a card for that video if you haven't checked it out yet. But today I'm going for the void shards again. I managed to get 15 in a single week without purchasing any, which is pretty crazy and works out really well because there is a guaranteed champion for Ursula the Mourner if you pull 15 Void Shards. So that is what we're doing today. So there is also a 2x event, so the odds for getting a Legendary or other Epics is double as well. Before I start opening these 15 Void Shards, please take a quick sec, hit the subscribe button. With that said, let's go ahead and start opening these 15 Void Shards. So Ursula the Mourner is a really good champ. She's not like anything spectacularly crazy, but I want her because one, I don't have her, but also she would really help me out in faction wars. I've already completed the Banner Lords faction, but I don't have a 100% success rate on stage 21. I can beat it maybe like 50% of the time and usually it only takes like two minutes, but it's really RNG dependent. So she, with her revive, would really help me get it to 100% and make sure I can clear it every time nice and quick. So that's why I want her. Cold heart. And then if I get another legendary, I wouldn't complain. Beardall Fellhammer. That's actually a new one, and this guy has been around forever. He's okay. He's good if you're early in the game, but the later you get, the worse you get. Lego lag? Nope, Armentine Skeleton. No? Somebody different. Usually it's Armentine Skeleton if it, it lags a bunch. Another epic. Skull Crown. Come on. Give me more. So the last one of these Void Shards. Man, rolling in the epics. Rugnor Goldgleam, he's pretty good. I got him for the, uh, the fusion. <laughs> There's that lag again. So the last Void Shard will be Ursula since it's 15 and you're guaranteed to get her. Alrighty, one more. <laughs> Nothing today. And then this last one should be Ursula. And then I'll go over her kit real quick. Alright. There we go. So, for her A1, tax one enemy, 40% chance of decreasing the target's terminator by 10. That's good for an A1. And then her A2, attacks all enemies, 75% chance of placing a decreased attack for two turns. Also places a 50% increased attack buff on all allies for two turns. That's really good, actually. And then this is her best ability. Revives all dead allies with 75% HP, then fills their terminators by 50%. Also places a 60% increased defense and a 25% strength and buff on all allies for three turns. That strength and plus increased defense is gigantic amounts of damage mitigation. She's actually really good for the clan boss as well, but she will primarily be used for faction wars for me. And then the last thing for her is going to be her uh, Doom Tower uh, speed ally by allies uh, 24%. Pretty solid. Um, yeah, she'd also be an awesome Doom Tower uh, carry as well. So yeah. Alrighty guys, that is it for this shard opening video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time.